Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today we'll be discussing tour shop reports. If you've already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video. And if you find this video helpful and learn something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. When I say tour shop report, what I'm really referring to is a lot of bigger companies, what they'll do is they'll hire an outside company to perform a tour at the property and what they'll do is they'll provide a report of you know strengths, weaknesses, areas, and opportunities to grow. They'll give it a score. I've seen this handled from a score of zero to 100, 100 being the best, or zero to 10. Um, I've seen it even with stars, like five stars being the best. So there's different ways that you could be graded through some of these outside companies. I've also seen companies internally have a couple of individuals from their advertising and marketing departments perform these as they'll, they'll call um, they'll also send someone maybe locally. So I've seen it done by a third party company and also internally from a company. So this can be handled a couple different ways. During 2020 and 2021, I did see a lot of companies pull back these types of reports because of social distancing and some of the things that were going on during that time. I have seen more and more companies starting to implement this again. So it is something to prepare your staff for as it could come up without any notice. It could be something to keep in mind to what could be done to improve your property. These are just some general practices as a property manager or a maintenance supervisor I would keep in mind when reviewing your tour report from some of these companies or internally that's provided. Number one best practice to keep in mind is don't be defensive. I know even I was guilty myself the first time I was property manager and received one of these tour um, reports. And I think the first thing that's almost natural and distinct to say, you know, this is inaccurate, this is wrong. And I'm sure in a lot of those cases, some of those cases are true where those are inaccurate. But also keep in mind, these reports are great for providing growth and opportunities for growth with your community and with your individuals that are part of your leasing. It is also very helpful for your maintenance team as well. So to ensure the tour path and the property and the models or any vacant units are in tip top shape for those showings. So I think the biggest thing to keep in mind with the first best practice is just don't be defensive, really go and do it with an open mind. Number two best practice that I would strongly recommend is areas for growth. So what I would strongly recommend is sit down with that individual that provided that tour and really go through the report with them, get their feedback, collect things from them as well, and then really iron out three or four things at least that were areas to grow with that report. These can be very beneficial because this is someone who's going to have the same viewpoint as a prospect that came to tour your property or asset. So it's really good to keep that in mind to truly try to find out areas to improve and really sit down with that individual who conducted the tour to see where you can improve as far as whether it be the path and the product itself, whether it be as how we presented the unit or amenity areas. So those are the things to keep in mind. Third best practice to keep in mind is a plan. So to have a good follow-up plan, if you've had a couple reports provided to you, if there's common things listed on the report, then I would I would assume that in most cases, those are gonna be common things as well as your prospects are gonna be seeing and dealing with as well. So I would strongly encourage you to then have a plan, whether it be you know maybe changing your training or tra uh, changing up your cleaning schedule with your maintenance team for these units or your tour path, but try to implement some things that you found consistent with those reports and also whether it be you spot checking or the leasing manager spot checking the tour path, anything you can do to provide an improvement to that touring experience is going to be very beneficial for you and your property. If you've not already done so, I would highly recommend watching my video, Managing Model Units. I will put the link to that video in my video description to this one, but I would highly recommend that to ensure that your model units are in a good starting position. So if your property does get shopped, you'll be in a good position to score and be ready for all tours, not only the shop, but any other tours. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Happy leasing.